Knocked out of the Champions League, out of the La Liga title race, knocked out of the Copa del Rey, boring football at moments, a coach who gets frustrated about every game, injuries, injuries and more injuries. Yeah, well, this season hasn't really been the best for Barcelona fans. But was it really that disappointing? Honestly, if you ask me, there were a lot of great aspects to this season. Heck, I think this was even Barcelona's best season since 2019 maybe. Sounds weird to you? Well, let me explain myself. First of all, we've got to remember that Barcelona are still in a rebuilding phase. Look, three years ago we didn't even properly compete in the Champions League. We just got humiliated time and time again. You cannot compare us to Real Madrid or Man City who were world class in 2018, in 2021 and still are in 2024. Yet, everyone expects Barcelona to compete for the same trophies as them. It's just great to see Barcelona compete again in the Champions League and to actually see them have a chance at winning. I mean, lots of Barca fans actually believed it was possible to win the Champions League after that away win to PSG. And it was actually realistic. One stupid mistake from Ronald Rajo is all that made the difference. But the bottom line is, Barcelona are competing again on all three fronts. And not that long ago we were just craving for that kind of team. We just wanted Barcelona to look competitive again so bad. Well, Barca fans, you've got it now. Barcelona have become a competitive team again. Progress has been made. It's even weird that we haven't won any title. We really stood a chance in the Champions League, in La Liga and in the Copa del Rey. And injuries and bad luck are also some of the reasons why we are leaving the season empty-handed. So while everyone may seem disappointed now because of the losses against Real Madrid and PSG, we have to look at the bigger picture and realize where Barcelona have come from. Cause yeah, if you look at it, this season was a massive improvement compared to not so long ago. There is more to it though. First of all, we have to talk about La Masia. This season has been the breakthrough year for both Damien Yamal and Pau Cobarsi. On top of that, other bright talents like Marc Guyou, Hector Ford and Marc Casado have made their debuts. Just look at that. There has arguably never been a better year when it came to youngsters coming out of La Masia. All of these guys are possible future heavyweights for Barcelona, if they're not right now already. And some people might say, but look at Ansu Fati, you thought he was going to be your next Messi and look where he ended up. And you would have a point, you know. We don't know whether players like Lamine Yamal are actually going to stay injury free in the coming years. But nobody can deny that the talent that has come out of La Masia this season is absolutely top notch. And honestly, what La Minimal does is really genuinely unseen. Nobody did those things at that age at Barcelona. And the same goes for Pau Cobarsi. It's just as if that guy's been playing at Barcelona for the past 10 years. But yeah, he's 17. La Masia has arguably never had a more fruitful year in history. This season is right up there with the 28-29 season, where Busquets, Pedro and Jarre Piquet broke through at Barcelona. There used to be a time when people considered La Masia to be dead or overrated, but look what we have now. La Masia is at its beautiful peak again. Next, we have to talk about how this Barcelona team has grown over the course of this season. One of Barcelona's biggest weaknesses is that their core of players is unexperienced and lacks chemistry at times. Last season, this problem wasn't as blatant because of players like Busquets and Jordi Alba. But at the start of this season, we saw that for Barcelona to truly become world class again, this core of players needed some time to grow and develop into a proper team. Now, we're in April and though we might not have won anything, we can definitely say that the chemistry and experience of this team has grown over the past couple of months. If you think about it, competing against teams like PSG in the Champions League is exactly what players like Araujo, Koundé, Kobarsi, Frenkie de Jong, Pedri, Lamine Yamal or Fermin Lopez need to become better and get more experienced. This season has been a real journey of growth for this young core of players. And we might not just see the rewards of that yet, but believe me when I say that this team has made a significant amount of progress. If you look at how Barcelona have been playing over the course of the season, you can see that they have developed more patterns of play now and players are more aware of their role. Look at Rafinha for example. He was disappointing in the first half of the season, in a team where he didn't really have a clear-cut role. Now he's got a role where he can thrive, being more free to roam and having to make more runs in behind the defense. This team has become more organized, the chemistry has become better and these players have gotten some much needed experience. We might not have won anything this season, but we arguably needed this kind of season to actually reach the very top again. A season of properly competing at the highest level with a young and talented core of players. Believe me, the future is looking bright for Barca. So yeah, this season wasn't that bad after all, but one of the best ever? Well, yeah, that's a bit exaggerated. I mean, Barca still ended up trophyless. But honestly, as a Barca fan, you need to be able to look at the long term. We might very well be one of the best two or three teams in the world again within two years from now. 
all because of this future growth player that has gained so much experience this season. It will all reap its rewards very soon. In a sense of growth and progress, this is probably one of Barcelona's best ever seasons. And don't forget, next season Gavi will be back and we will maybe see Barcelona's midfield at its full potential again. There really is lots of exciting stuff to look forward to for Barca fans. Oh yeah, I know I haven't posted a video in a long, long time. I didn't expect to be out of it for that long back when I made my last video in December. So right now, I don't really know how consistent I'm going to be in the coming weeks, but I am back. So a big thank you for everyone who has tuned in again, and make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Forza Barca, and have a good day.